Welcome to Trivia Night, a phantasm of mind-rending challenges, but it's also just a happy-go-lucky expression of all the things I love. Trivia, pop culture, fun, people laughing together, and also me murdering you. It's great! I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini-games. If you do badly in the minigame, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Am I over-explaining this? The last group was super dumb. Let's just get into it. Here's the first question. Which mnemonic device could I use to remember the order of the Great Lakes going west to east? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, let's play a game. Welcome to the killing floor. It's time for some finger cutting. Fingers are overrated, right? Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's as clean cut as your finger's about to be. Ah! Get to cutting. <laughs> Thanks for the finger. Here's the early scores, and yeah, this is about what I expected. Let's try another one. <sighs> this was my favorite book as a kid. What was the title of Ted Kaczynski's manifesto? <laughs> Who picked this one? The rest of you, I have a surprise for you. Hey girl! Welcome back to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. Answer very carefully. What's a good name for a cat? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the answer that you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Seriously, pick one you just don't like. The votes are in. This is why self-expression is overrated. So, I just killed you and you're totally a ghost now. But don't worry, ghosts love trivia party games, so you're still in this. You haven't lost or anything. I kind of wish I were a ghost. Ah, <sighs> someday. Here's that scoreboard again. I made it pretty clear what this was the first time, right? Ah, I think I'm over explaining. I've got more questions for you. Let's mix things up a little bit with a picture question. Not a lot of people know this, but I'm a certified piano instructor. And these are my two prized pupils. They're really a gifted duo. Well, technically when they play together, it's more of a quartet. They can really tickle the ivories in a way that makes the piano sound like it's screaming from sheer pain. <laughs> they make me so proud. Okay. How many red digits were in the picture? Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's go someplace fun. Word time! 
Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. My ransom letters could use a little bit more pizzazz. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. Get to it. The letters don't have to touch each other, and remember to press submit when you're done. I'm so excited to see what you come up with. Ooh, let's see what you did there. I probably should have mentioned you have to enter actual words. A tie? That's not good for anybody. People often ask me what's the most evil thing I've ever done, and it's gotta be that time I ordered delivery during the purge. Let's try this again. Some say they just suddenly appeared one day, but... Where are the Wiggles from? And the correct answer is... This one. Hmm, too easy. How about this? Which of these girls is not mentioned in Mambo number five? said this which means only you you're in for a treat uh oh this is a mess i'm going to need everyone's help this piece of art has blood all over it memorize the pattern of blood All right, that's enough time. Here's a weird confession, but when I was a kid, I thought Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh was a female. I guess it's because he was a gardener and I thought all gardeners were women. Yeah, it's pretty messed up, but that's what happens when you're taught gender roles at a young age. Anyway, reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If anyone does better than you, I will be testy. on your sauce. Yeah. Here's that arch again, and here's what you did. Not perfect. Let's see if anyone can make you pay. I'm noticing a pattern of defeat. It's gotta hurt that other players thought, hey, I might as well try to kill you. Why not? Here's another one. What movie includes the famous line, Wolfman's got Narns? <laughs> and the correct answer is this. The rest of you who are still alive, let's go someplace fun. I want to play a dice game. I'll go first. Nine. Now I need an assistant. How about you? 
In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. Okay, your part is done. Thank you. Roll lower than me or you die. What's the singular of dice? Oh, right. Die. Everybody's dead now? Well, I guess I'll have to do this then. You're doing the best, so you get one more chance. The time has come. It wasn't easy making it here alive, and it won't be easy to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Laxative brands. Tap on it. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. Aww, you have to get answers right to get closer to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Just smart people, huh? Bone thugs and harmony members. Star Wars, a new home. 